Seven. So black and blue, uh, black and pink now tied up. Eight. So maybe going to them. Who knows? You may bring the back black into play as well. Mustn't hold back here. Well, he's a little unfortunate, but there again, he may have the cannon to play to the red. That's next to the black. This is awkward. And look at Ronnie. Well, he's not hit it hard enough. It was in. It was in. He knew. One. And now it's out of Mark's hands. <laughs> Coming around the two cushions, and they just seemed to stick together, didn't they? Damage done, he collides with the referee. Thank you. Yes. Seventy. Well. Twenty-four. He's got the angle here on this red to open the reds up. Screw off them reds up for the blue. If this goes right. Thank you. And it's not too bad. 25. There's a red in the bulk area that he could play for. This looks good. This looks good. It's coming round. 30. No choice to play for the black or the blue. Played for the black. Thirty one. Well, he may have to play into the reds here. Well, don't forget to pot the black and a let off for Mark Williams. What can he do? Yeah, complete surprise. Just maybe took his eye off it slightly. Point is, he's going to have to do something, isn't he, soon, Mark Williams? Could have done with a little bit more screw on that cue ball. He's left himself hampered. Just needed a little bit more pace.
Eight. Sixteen. Now he just might leave an angle on the black to bring those two reds into play. Seventeen. He's going to need them at some stage. He's perfect on the black. Just wants to try and find the gap between them. And that's opened them up a little harder than he would have been on the other red. Twenty-four. He played it absolutely perfectly that just needed to be harder. That has to go in. Mark Williams, 24. Had that gone in, it could very well have been 5-3. And it was very, very close. One. How accurate do you have to be to pop those in the middle at that speed? What a shot. Well, he's blocked the pocket for the plant going into that left corner. It could be significant. Nine. Not anymore. No, it's been a much better second half performance from Ronnie O'Sullivan than the first half. Leads by ten. Mark Williams. Sixteen. Made him sweat a little early on, but his own performance has come down a couple of notches, I think, since the resumption. 17. Just the right side of the blue. Perfectly played. Well, it looks like just a little cannon to the pink. Not sure what he's thinking about. Now, which way will he play this? In between brown and green or brown and yellow? And just a little pacey. 29. Two or three inches too hard. And it made the difference. It made the difference. And this is potable off the cushion. I'm not saying it's easy. Well, that was match over if that had gone in, for sure. Oh. Well, it still might be. I expected him to pop that. Yeah, he uh, he's just struggled a bit this evening. Mark Williams. The one thing for him, if it is to be over here, at least he's safeguarded his master's place in January. He's got that out of the week. Yeah, it wouldn't be the same without Mark Williams at the Masters. So Ronnie O'Sullivan, 
He's uh, just a couple of balls away from securing his place in the semi-finals. Just one more yellow, in fact, required. And the worrying thing, I think, for the players hey. left here is that he hasn't been 100% all night. He hasn't had to be, though. He's done enough to win. He's competed well. He's played properly. He's played the right way. And he's got the result. Nobody's got near him in this UK Championship. He's lost five frames hey. in five matches. So here we are, 23 years since he first won the UK Championship. He's looking to equal Steve Davis's record of six this weekend. A much better performance since the interval than it was before the break. Ronnie O'Sullivan, for the ninth time in his career, is in the UK Championship semi-finals. I think you can see from the expressions, neither thought that much of the match, but he played much better after the interval he pulled away from 2-2 to beat Mark Williams, 